Good evening, and there we go. Now we got our audio. Good evening, and welcome back. I'm Jason Jones, filling in for John Young. Like I really have to announce that. So, uh, getting all the technical things uh, down, and I'm really excited about our next guest. So let me just jump right in and tell you all about him. Uh, my next guest is the MC evening, and, and owner of Collins Productions. Good evening, DJ and welcome Entertainment. Back. I'm based Jason out Jones, filling in for John Young. And like I, I really have to announce that. Mute on something here, and go back to my other something. Uh, he's the owner of uh, Collins Productions, DJ Entertainment, based out of Connecticut. He's the creator of the Facebook group called Showcasing Your Talents as Master of Ceremonies, which I'm sure everybody knows about by now. And if they don't, you should go and join and become a member, a really valuable Facebook group. It's a place for professionals to share their footage of themselves emceeing and ask for critique or just get help on their performance. Jim is also a singer uh, who started performing at the age of 15. He's played uh, in a band with uh, Sid. Haitian and former drummer of the band Boston and Alex Grossi, lead guitar of the band Quiet Riot, which is pretty awesome. We could do a whole show about that, Jim. He started recording his uh, performances at uh, his very first club event as a musician, and his passion as a musician and MC merged and has uh, he's been recording his performances every since, ever since and really credits a lot of his uh, growth and development to recording his performances and looking back on it, and that's what we're going to spend a good part of the evening talking about jim thanks for coming on the show to share this jason thanks so much for having me on uh you know it's it, i take a lot of uh, pride in and just uh learning from others and and you know and putting this whole thing together showcasing your talents the master of ceremonies was a good place to do that and just learn from others and grow as a you know as a performer and so yeah it, yeah really- and I have to say, like, uh, you know, I'm in your group, and so I get notifications when anybody posts in, in the groups. Um, and you have one of the more, the most active groups on uh, on Facebook, I would say, among DJs. I'm always seeing things coming up, posts coming up, active discussions going on uh, inside uh, the group. Tell us a little bit about the group for people that aren't aware of it. And can they come and join now, or is it uh, is it becoming closed? No, no. Well, it's a closed group, but, you know, anyone that's interested that as an MC can certainly join. And a nice thing about it is, too, it's it's a place that's very safe for people to share their performances. And if they want to, they can get critiqued on it. Or if they don't and they just want to share, they can do that. Uh, You know, we have a lot of uh, people that are members that will post introductions. That seems to be the most popular uh, type of thing to post, uh, you, you know, as far as the performance aspect goes. So you see a lot of variety from that. And I think that's why people are very interested in the whole thing, too, is because they get to see different styles, different personalities on the microphone, different ways of doing things. So it opens it up and it's nice to have people be able to share those things. So that's a little bit about that. So it's a closed group, but, you know, anyone that's interested in it can join. And uh, there's a bunch of things that you can learn, you know, whether it's holding a microphone, correct posture. Uh, one of the things I really was searching for was something online, basically, that had a good, you know, hub, per se, that encompassed all, you know, good performances from from MCs. And I tried to do some research online on YouTube and mm-hmm. find some things, but a lot of it was, was garbage. You know, I, I couldn't find anything that was wor- worth trying to take in. And, but there, you know, and so I thought, okay, well, let's just find one place to put this all together where we could have uh, MCs that will be able to share their performance yeah that's great and it's really taken off and uh, and grown since then let's uh, take a quick break and hear from our sponsors uh sponsors of uh, dj and tv uh, live uh monday nights uh include dj event planner uh, electra voice top hits usa and newmark and when we come back um i want you to share i, I really like you to share a little bit about like uh some of the revelations that you've had just watching your own footage or or, or maybe even a time that really stood out where you're like oh my gosh i had no idea i did that so uh, we'll, we'll do that when we come back from our break uh, this is djn tv monday night live dj chat dj event planner will change the way you manage and run your business streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy to manage system dj event planner the ultimate online planning tool Okay. 
And we're back. I'm Jason Jones filling in for John Young. My guest, Jim Collins, uh, musician, DJ, MC, artist extraordinaire. And it's really exciting to have you on the show. And uh, best known probably in the DJ community as having the Facebook group showcasing your uh, showcasing your talent, which has uh, really, really been a terrific and active group and made a difference for a lot of people. So uh, so tell me tell me about a time that uh, that, that you, when, when you started or at any point where you were watching the footage and, and you had like a revelation that you weren't you were surprised by okay well first let me start off with my uh, performance that I, when i was 15 years old i went on stage in connecticut and it was a high school function in the band and uh so you know back in the 80s everyone had the mullets and the boots and dressed like girls and that's the thing to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right exactly so uh, i ran up the, the first song that we did was an instrumental song and it was maybe seven minutes before i even come out so the whole band's up there and this is being taped. Uh, my guitarist had this set up, uh, one of our performances. And I, I come out on stage, I'm all pumped up, ready to go. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna hit that first note and it's gonna be awesome or whatever. And I come out on stage, I slip, I fall on my ass. Oh no. <laughs> in front of everybody, but people were howling out in the audience, just like, oh, oh, you know? So yeah. you, did, you get back up, you know, and you just let it roll off your shoulders. But did my you get goodness. hurt? What? Did you get hurt? No, no, I was okay. Oh, but just, it, just that's just ego. Yeah, so that's just from a band experience. But ever since, I mean, there's things as an MC I certainly pick up on. Um, one thing I did notice because, and I don't know if it's because I come from a musical background, but when I hold the microphone, I ex- use that as an extension of myself when I'm performing. So when I hold it, I'm I'm holding it like that, and so oh. that no, that footage. Uh, during weddings, just picking up on that, holding the microphone this way is different than holding it this way. Yeah. I understand is the proper way to do it so people can see what the words that are coming out of your mouth and mm-hmm. be able to make well, that Well, they want to see your face. And the, yeah, and the expressions on your face. It acts, act, absolutely. So different things like that. Um, posture is a big thing. I, I tend to slump over when I'm behind the booth sometimes. And mm-hmm. when I walk out to welcome a room and get to the center of a room. I have to have better posture. That was the one thing I picked up over the last couple, you know, uh, look backs on those, um, smiling more and really yeah. connecting with people now instead of looking over their, their heads and, and you know, welcoming a room and making eye contact and smiling a lot more. I mean, there, there's so much that I, you know, picked up on. Just well, in the last couple smiling months. Smiling is such a big one because, like, if you're like me, you look grumpy if you're not. Like, a straight face looks grumpy for me. You know what I mean? I kind of frown when I'm, like, not, not, you know, when I just think I'm having a straight face, I'm kind of a frowny face, right? So I have to oh, be okay. conscious of, like, kind of putting a little curl on my lips uh, at all times when I'm out in a, in a uh, public setting. Yeah, yeah, it, absolutely. And, and the nice thing about it is, too, uh, so I picked up on a bunch of things, but then I have, you know, friends that'll comment and, and say, well, you know, maybe you should pause and allow for people let, to, to let the moment breathe a little, you know, for special dances instead of coming right in and, and taking that away from a father and daughter uh, dance, letting them take that all in before going on to a next transition and bringing it out of that. Oh, so yeah. all just, stuff you would never be aware of. I remember one of the first yeah. times when I was just starting uh, to, to do uh, MC work and really starting to uh, try some different activities and play more of a role in the early reception part. I videotaped my performance and uh, I watched myself announce them in at the door and then elbow past them <laughs> to get into my next position because there wasn't hardly any room to squeak by them. So as everyone watched the bride and groom make their entrance, they see the DJ like kind of trying to scoot by them to get into right. its next spot. It looked terrible. It looked, I was like, I did that and I had no idea. I thought this event went pretty well. And then I watched the footage and I was mortified. I'm <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I never want to do that again. Yeah, and it, it happens. I mean, there's certain things that w- are just going to happen. And and you can set yourself up in the future to avoid things that happen, but there's other cases where you can't. And, and what do you do to, to approach a situation if it happens again? But that's well, an example, too. And, and you run into that. People are surrounding the dance floor. You have your introductions, and then you're kind of trying to squeeze in. You don't want to be right in the center, obviously, when people come out. And I'm trying to just really, oh, tapping someone on the shoulder. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I just blend in here or whatever? 
stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. well, and it really made me think about like where they're entering and where do I have a path? You know, right. what is my path to get to the next spot? And is that through the line of sight of the action that people are watching? Something I was just completely oblivious to. It's like kind of like it's, uh, you know, it's it's not being uh, like I don't care about their event, but a cluelessness, right? I just, I'm not aware. And the, in the in video and in, in watching back your video is uh, cr- does amazing to just make you aware of yeah. yourself. It kind of gives you another sixth sense while you're performing even. Yeah, absolutely. And the other things I notice I've done from time to time is when I'm talking, kind of go back and forth a little bit, or sometimes I'll close my eyes too much. And I'll go like that when I'm dressing a point and just little subtle things like that. What I think are subtle or, or not. I think the more people take notice of them. So. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So when you find these things out, how do you keep from having them all in your head while you're trying to perform like, Oh, I don't want to do this. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want this. And I don't want that. Or how does that go for you? You know, it, the way it goes, basically when I go to an event, um, I'm taken back from the event that I performed at last. And if I'm reviewing the footage a couple days later, I'm focusing on just a couple things that I'm, that I notice. I mean, I know there's probably 20 things that I want to improve, but I'll focus on two things. So then I'll say, okay, the next time I know that I'm, I'm going to get into the center of the room for introductions this time, as opposed to standing off to the side or reverse or, you know, what works the best mm-hmm. in, in, in doing that. So it, it's just two things usually. And, and that way you're not overwhelming yourself with all these things and trying to focus at the same time on, on what the task is before you in the, in the performance. Sure, sure. Let's take another quick break and uh, and and get uh, some nods in for our sponsors, uh, Electro Voice and DJ Event Planner. And when we come back, uh, I really want to talk about um, s- some of the things that you've learned from the group, uh, from participating in the group. And yeah. uh, and and I know that sometimes people are like, "Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to put my stuff up there. Is there people are going to make fun of me. I look bad. Like, you, like there's a there's a tendency to like. I only want to put it up if I think it looks amazing, right? Yeah. For fear of uh, getting critique. So uh, I'd like you to kind of talk about like how that has uh, gone in the in the group. Okay. So okay, we'll so- talk about that and ten other questions when we come back. <laughs> DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. And welcome back to Monday Night DJ uh, DJ and TV Live DJ Chat. I'm Jason Jones filling in for John Young tonight and talking with Jim Collins, the uh, creator of... Uh, showcasing your talent on, uh, on on Facebook, a really popular Facebook group that uh, people have used to be able to well, just to see how they see their performance, get some critique, share, or learn learn from others. Um, so uh, so how how has that gone? Uh, what you know what what have you learned by um, having this like now repository of uh, being able to to watch other people perform besides just yourself? Yeah, well, I, I've learned from every single of you know, piece of footage that I've seen on there. And um, the first person that actually added some footage was Peter Mary. And he did his introductions. And, and I have some DVDs of his that uh, where he has the, the, the wedding toast, mm-hmm. uh, 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 toasting of the introductions of the, the members of the wedding party. So I've seen that before. So he did something uh, f- focused on that. And it was really good. And so he got it started really uh, to add some footage on there. Another one was Sean Lee. Sean Lee was uh, someone that I came across actually on YouTube before I created the group, and he did something really fun with both sides of um, both sides of the dance floor, one side of the family and the other side of the family. And he was going between them, and then he got everybody up on the dance floor in a matter of like 20 seconds, filled it, you know, and, and kept it going there for about uh, I'd say about a good 15, 20 minutes. Wow! 
but right before right before toast it was really neat and uh so that was one of the things i saw mike walter i i asked if he would add some footage on there just of something he's done performance wise mm -hmm. and, and he did so and um after that shortly after that he actually put on three segments and i pinned it to the top of of the page of, of just basically from the, the beginning of the wedding and it goes through past he skips toasts and goes into dancing after that and it was so awesome because it's all raw uncut uncut mm -hmm. footage cool of that. And, it, and it was it was great you know i learned a lot about it just from the the beat mixing aspects of things how he goes into different songs and and changes it up there uh where he stands and different posture and how he gets the room going in between uh, different courses for dinner. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really interesting. And um, yeah, just uh, those are some examples, but everyone always contributes and, and does a really good job. And, you know, and I, I think the important thing is, is just to, if you're adding any video there, I think people, yeah, they, they want to have their best performances there, but you're going to get so much more out of it if you don't. And, and just be brave enough to just put, okay, I know that I knew, didn't do a good job here. Let's see if there are some other points that someone could, uh, pinpoint to let you know basically let you know how you can improve yeah to get so, some get some ideas so have sure. people have people relaxed and started contributing things now that they're seeing it's a positive environment you know right now i think uh, a little bit more and more people are starting to that who i haven't seen post there there's a lot of people that will post and they're the the happy posters i like to say and in, in, in that sense they'll, they'll continue to do so mm -hmm. and and that's great because they they want to contribute and add as much as they can but uh yeah, I, I, I'd like to see a little more. I would personally like to see more variety and, and see people um, do a little bit more so we could have a, a good community of, of, of different styles and, and personalities. Sure. Is the focus mm -hmm. primarily on emceeing or do you also like to uh, see other people's DJ sets? Yeah, I think the focus is primarily on emceeing. So just seeing different styles, different things, of ways that you could uh, basically welcome a room, uh, set things up, uh, and not just only introductions, but how do you end an event too? That's really important as well. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot of introductions on there, which is great, but how do you close your evening? You know, what's that finale? How do you bring that to that climax where you're finally going to be able to just really see how it all comes together in the end for that couple? Yeah, absolutely. So it sounds like it's more than just uh, like kind of a critique, but also you get a lot of ideas yes. around different ways to to work a, to work with a crowd and work an event. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt about it. It's a, it's just one of those that you could really just learn whatever topic or area that you want to basically improve. Yeah, and just I, get creative. I think that's really great because I think that too often. Uh, guys get really hung up on like, oh, somebody will steal my shtick. They'll yeah. do my thing. And, you know, really the, the biggest favor anybody could do is steal your shtick because that means you got to reinvent something new. You have to yes. stay fresh. You have yeah. to not just lean on, oh, this one thing that I do, right? But actually like stay engaged, stay growing, stay you know, like inventing, creating something new, you know, you, you might end up finding that you're the only one standing still with your stick and like everything else is kind of moving past you. Uh, so, uh, and it's, it's not about you. Two people could do the exact same shit stick and have a totally different audience experience. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I totally believe that 100%. Uh, I mean, I know there's, there's people that do things in the industry and, and, the, and the style and the presentation of how they do things. And if I were to try to replicate that in any way, there's no way it would be the same thing. It's just not possible because you're you, you have your personality, you have your inflections in your voice. Uh, you, you just set things up differently. So I think even if you try to do something that's going, you know, that the repetitive thing that you do, get out of the comfort zone and just try to mix it up and, and reinvent yourself and, and, and try to make yourself grow constantly. Absolutely. I know I try, when I see things that I really like, I try not to just take it like, uh, you know, R and D rip off and duplicate, you know, uh, I try to like go, what can I, what else can I do with this? How does, what does this inspire me? What does this give me an idea for? Like, for example, you know, the, uh, the, the bouquet game where, uh, you put the couple back to back and they hold up like, fl like a flowers or a shoe kind of thing, uh, or a bouquet and a shoe. 
uh, when I saw that, I thought that was that was pretty cool. But then I created a new twist where we actually we do it with married couples, uh, who's we call when they ring the glasses for dinner. We would call out married couples, and then we'd put them back to back, and then they yeah. would have to guess. They would get one question, and if they matched, then uh, they got to kiss because you know they matched. And if they didn't match, well, then they would have to uh, make up, and then the surprise would be they'd have to do it again. Like they'd have to, and it would be like the same question and they'd be like, Oh, you know, and it was like, it was really wonderful little payoffs there as you're watching them, their reactions and it's all the little things. And it, that was just a, a small twist on a, uh, on a, on a already great activity. Yeah, absolutely. That that's, and that's the type of thing. And, and you do have to take the extra time and care to, to, to uh, basically create those things. It takes a lot of work, obviously, as you know. To, to really take it a step up and, and just say, hmm, how can I make this, put a little twist on this and make this different or, or just come up with something entirely different. Exactly. It, it's work. And a lot of people don't want to, they want to get, stay in that comfort zone and, and not take that extra time, but it's worth it, I think. Precisely. Absolutely. Jim, it's been a real pleasure having you on the show. When Ron Ruth enters the room, you know it's time to wrap up the show. So uh, we're running a little bit over here, and this is uh, this is really great. But it's been really great chatting with you. I look forward to seeing you and showcasing your talent and really encourage everybody to uh, to go ahead and join that group and start submitting some stuff. Uh, it, it'll make a big difference for you, your career. Have a little courage. Put it out there. There's a lot of love in that group. Jim, thanks for making a big difference in the industry. Jason, thanks so much and all the best. And thanks for all you do in the industry. Th thank you. Have a great night. Be good. We're going to be back with Ron Ruth on DJ and TV Monday night uh, DJ chat. Mm -hmm.